Hey guys and welcome back. So today I am going to start that again. <laughs> okay so here we have the scrawler box. Oh wait let me start again. This month's scrawler box has finally arrived so if we look at the box it's quite quite bulky like sticking out. So let's open it. Now they did say to us that we're going to really look what's inside here so I'm quite excited. Here we go. So these are the supplies, which I'll carefully take out. We have a zine, which I'll look through in a second. Ooh, this looks cool. So this is art by the artist Jess Kirkman. I really like that. And then we have some Scrawlerbox Yupo pad. 10 sheets. Never even heard of a Yupo pad before. Interesting. Alright, so let's take a look at the supplies. So we have a sticker. I love this sticker. This might be my favourite one so far. We have a new sort of list here. This is really cool. Oh, I like this. So if I get the old one, you'll be able to see that it is like in a rectangle. Is that what a rectangle is? Something like that. <laughs> I didn't do maths. Um, yeah, but I think I like this new layout. It's pretty cool. Wow, oh my, look at these. Alcohol ink. Oh my, I have never even... I don't know what these are. I don't think I've ever used these before. So this is going to be really interesting. So we've got some alcohol inks, we got a spare lid. Oh wait, no we haven't. I'm telling lies, it fell off. <laughs> uh, we have... A straw. Now this must be for, be careful Emily what you're going to say, this must be for making air go round. <laughs> we have a pipette, it's quite sciencey this one. And then a little brush, oh this is really cute. And then a drumstick. Wait, have we had these before? I feel like I'm having a flashback. Just because we know you love them so much. What is this? Oh my god. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Um, I don't want to. It's alright. Alright, so with all my scroll boxes, I like to go through the zine. And I must say, I absolutely love this. So it gives us a list of the supplies that was included. We have a sit down with the artist. And an interview. Oh my god, her work is beautiful. Look at it. Oh wow. I think I've seen something similar to this when I used to watch the big painting challenge. And then we have some scroller tips, which I am going to read through because I've never used these in my entire life, so I don't want to get it wrong. Then we have a gallery from May's scroller box. Look at these. Some very, very talented people out there. Uh, 
And then a, bit, a little bit of information about the price updates and the changes. So yeah. Right, I think we should get on to testing these supplies out and then making something. Okay, so I'm really glad that I decided to read the tips because it says here, before you get started, it's worth noting you should protect your work surface. Ink, stains, everything, including hands. So gloves are recommended. It's handy to have some paper towels or a rag. Oh my gosh, my poor desk. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to find something, I'll be back. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> that sounded funnier in my head than it actually came out. <laughs> Okay, so I've got some gloves, got some paper, got some kitchen towels. And um, yeah, I think we should just get started. Oh dear. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have another Scrawler box unboxing for you and this one is the July box of 2021 and I'm just going to read through the supplies to see how much they cost, a little bit of info about them and to see if we're getting our money's worth. So yeah let's go. So it says here, in a galaxy far far away this month's box is going to, is going intergalactic, pour dip and tip the ink. I'm just going to take a moment to say these were very difficult to open and it smells it smells really bad and I think I might be getting high off the fumes <laughs> so I probably should have wore a mask or something um, but yeah these are the swatches and I think now I'm gonna try and make something out of it quite scared to blow using this Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start again. <laughs> Experiment with the abstract fluid forms it creates. Use the tools to drip, drop <laughs> and blow around the ink to see what unique marks you can make. Try swirling your paintbrush in while wet and then back in again once dry with the extender to see how it expands your galactic arrangements. <laughs> okay. So the first thing that was included in this box was the Marabou alcohol inks and we received three of these and it says here These alcohol based permanent inks take fluid painting to a whole new level offering unlimited design possibilities with their wide range of flowing techniques The brilliantly bold bright colours are quick drying acid free and you can also be and can also be mixed to create your own colour combinations. These inks are the best used on non-absorbent paper but they can be used on any smooth non-absorbent surfaces such as glass, metal, metal, ceramic and porcelain. The creative possibilities and applications are endless and these retail for the price of £4.99 each. Next up we have the Marabou Alcohol Ink Extender. So this I'll this um <laughs> the extender is an indispensable supply for many techniques and can be used not only to increase the alcohol inks workable time slowing the drying time but also to lighten pigment lifting color and increase the transparency of your inks the experiment to create a number of stunning effects and that retails for £4.99 next we have a pipette so this versatile little tool is fantastic for mixing and adding ink to your work. You can use it for marbling, mixing colours 
or applying your inks and extender directly to paper and that retails for the price of 59 pence. Then we also have a paper straw. So this simple but useful tool will help you create magical patterns in your ink with a gentle puff of air. Just try not to breathe in the fumes, <laughs> which is what I did. <laughs> um, and there's no price on that paper straw. Then we have the Pro Arte Masterstroke paintbrush. This paintbrush is well suited for all your painting needs. It can be used for watercolour, acrylic, oil and alcohol mediums as the tip is made from durable synthetic fibres. And that retails for the price of £2.50. And last but not least we have the Upo Pad A500 GSM. Upo is a non porous, acid free and pH neutral synthetic paper, it is completely waterproof, stain resistant and is an intriguing alternative to traditional art papers. With the 10 sheets included, you will have plenty to test out and experiment with this month's supplies. And that retails for the price of £2.98. Now I must say, this has to be my favourite box so far. I, probably because I've never used this medium and it was just so much fun to see how like the ink goes around and like it takes no effort or thinking whatsoever really. You kind of just plop it down and wing it I guess and yeah I really really enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this box and whether you've received yours or you're thinking about signing up to Scrawler. I'd highly recommend it. And yeah. Alright, so here are the finished pieces. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to sell these on my Etsy. Um, so if anybody would like these, I will have names for them eventually. Um, but yeah, I must say this is the most funnest box we've had yet. Um, if I can get the shine. So cool. But yes, I will have these for sale on my Etsy shop. Link will be in the description box. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below what you think, uh, share with your friends, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time with another video. Okay, bye.